Hello and welcome back everybody. Go ahead and get your pencil or your marker ready. We're going to count all the way to 100 again. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Nice job, everybody. Let's go ahead and count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Nice job. I'm going to go ahead and erase my board. The next thing I'd like you to do is to write out your numbers counting by 10 all the way to 100. 10, 20, 30. Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do that. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Nice job, everybody. Let's go ahead and erase that. The next thing I'd like you to do is to write out your numbers, counting by 5 all the way to 100. So 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way to 100. I'm going to give you a minute. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. Let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Nice job. I'm going to erase it and count by fives as I do. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 
Nice job, everybody. The very next thing I'd like you to do is to write out your numbers backward from 20. 20, 19, 18, all the way to zero. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job, let's count backward from 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job. I'm going to count it one more time as I erase it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job. The very next thing I'd like you to do is to go ahead and write down these two numbers, please. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to read those numbers, to draw a picture of those numbers, and to write them in expanded form. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. This number is 26. 26 has two tens and six ones. And it comes out to 20 plus 6. This number is 68. 68 has six tens and eight ones. You would write 60 plus 8. Nice job. I'm going to count backward from 20 as I erase my board. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job. You do not have to write down these problems. I'm writing two numbers in expanded form. I'd like you to just write them in standard form. Go ahead and do that now. This one here has 70 plus 4. That would be 74. This one here has 40 plus 7. That would be 47. If you look at both numbers, they have the same numbers in them, but they have different values. This 7 is worth 70. This 4 is only worth 4. This 4 is worth 40 because it's in the 10 spot. This 7 is worth 1 because it's in the 1. It's worth only 7 because it's in the 1 spot. Nice job, everybody. The next thing we're going to do is going to be doing our addition. So go ahead and get your pencil or your marker ready. I'm going to go ahead and give you two problems and then give you 30 seconds to answer them. Here we go. 49 plus 29 and 63 plus 82. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and answer those. On your mark, get set, go.
Nice job. As always, we circle the biggest number, but nine and nine are the same. So we would circle the one on top. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 is a two digit number. So I'm gonna put my eight down. I'm gonna regroup and carry my one. I'm gonna circle my four because that's the biggest number. Four, five, six, seven, 78. Here I'm gonna circle my three because it's bigger than two. Three, four, five. Five is only a single digit number, so I do not put a one up here. Here I'm gonna circle my eight because eight is bigger than six. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is a two digit number, but there's no more numbers in the problem. So we write the whole number down here. Our answer is 145. Nice job. I'm gonna count backwards as I erase. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job. I'm going to put up two subtraction problems. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do both of them and it's up to you to decide which one you're going to have to borrow in. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. Let's start with 67 minus 13. I'm gonna circle seven. It's the biggest number, it's on top. So I don't borrow. Seven, six, five, four. Seven minus three is four. Here I'm gonna circle the six, which is the bigger number on top. Six minus one, six, five. My answer is 54. Here, I'm gonna circle the biggest number, two or five. Five is bigger. The bigger number is on the bottom, so we have to borrow. Big bottom borrow. We're gonna make the two bigger by putting a one in front of it to make a 12. We're gonna cross off the four to make it a three. Let's do those steps one more time. We circle the five, which is the biggest number. It's on the bottom, so we have to borrow. Big bottom borrow. We put a one in front of the two to make it a 12. We cross off the four to make it a three. Then we subtract 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. Here we circle the three, three, two, one. Our answer is 17. Nice job, everybody. I'm gonna count backwards, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. The next thing we're going to do is draw some of our shapes. The very first shape I'd like you to draw is a diamond. Go ahead and draw a diamond. A diamond is just like a rectangle and a trapezoid and a square because it has four sides. It's just like a square because it has four equal sides. It also has four vertices. But the difference is these corners are not perfect corners. These are wider and these are squished. So when we go ahead and draw our next shape, a square, I'll show you what I mean. Go ahead and draw a square. A square has four equal sides, just like a diamond. It has four vertices and four sides, just like a rectangle 
and just like a diamond, but if you look at the corners, the corners make perfect corners. That's the difference between a square and a diamond. We call these right angles. Right angles means that you can draw a little square in the corner and it makes a perfect little corner. Nice job. Your final shape I'd like you to draw is a pentagon. A pentagon looks like home plate in a baseball game. It has five sides and five vertices. Nice job. I'm going to switch over now to our money. Let's go ahead and sing our song. A penny's worth one cent, a nickel's worth five, a dime's worth ten cents, a quarter's twenty-five. And let's sing it as we see the coins. A penny's worth one cent, a nickel's worth five, a dime's worth ten cents, a quarter twenty-five. Let's do that one more time. A penny's worth one cent, a nickel's worth five, a dime's worth ten cents, a quarter twenty-five. Nice job, everybody. Thank you so much for your attention today. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Don't forget there's extra practice available after the video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.